kind of piggyback off the last episode that we just uploaded um, with the Antivan Crow discovering the Butcher, the Traitors, Humans, and someone inside the Antivan Crows is working with the Venatory. And uh, not the Venatory, sorry, Zara. Uh, so we're going to dive into that a little bit more, but not too much here. Because that story hasn't progressed. We're not that far along yet. So, however, in this episode that you will be watching, hopefully, uh, we're going to be discovering Harding's powers, what she can do with it. Uh, we're going to help her, you know, build those powers up. We're also going to bury Katarina from the Antivan Crows. And then lastly, we're going to work with the Shadow Dragons and figure out how the Blight and Venatories are either working together or how one's being controlled. So a lot of information is coming in this episode, but still very short episodes. So stay tuned. And again, if you haven't watched ups, uh, the first few episodes, all the tabs will be popping up sporadically or wait till the very end. And you can, or not wait, scroll to the very end and you'll see the playlist. I will also drop the playlist down below in the description. Or just go back to my channel and check the playlist out. Many, many ways. I will recap what happens at the end of this, but I'll see you at the end. So hopefully you enjoy. And if you do, like and subscribe. the old This should be perfect. It's wide open, lots of rocks, and away from people. I don't want to try anything where I could hit someone. Oh, this sounds exciting. I know. Come on. Being able to move the terrain is going to be really useful for a scout. Getting up high for good vantage. Let's try it out for practice. All right, see this rock? I'm gonna move it. Oh, awkward. Maybe if you used words. What? Tell the rock what to do? Sort of. <laughs> it's not a dog. Yeah, but just try it. Fly! <laughs> oh, you are the worst. The worst! So, a mental cue. Some kind of emotional trigger. You're thinking too hard about it. Maybe 
Think less and feel more. Have fun. Go with what feels good. Feels good. Right. Connection. Joy. Fun. You know, we would sometimes go to the shore of Lake Callanhad in summer. And my friends and I would collect stones and see who could build the best rock fort. I bet my fort would be the best now. Oh. <laughs> it worked! It worked! That was a great idea, Rook! Happy to help, assuming I helped. Either way, I think I'll need more practice with this. Don't you? I wonder what's up there. Think you could find us a route? Maybe. I'll take a look. You got it. I bet you can move this to give us something to climb on. Well done. Let's find another rock for you to practice on. Bliss in oneness. Our voice a chorus. Uh, what? Well, I don't know. I was just saying something, wasn't I? Huh. Just came to me. Think you could clear a path for us? Of course. Look at that. You're getting good. Wanna try another one? Why not? Got it. There you go. Practice is really helping, huh? I might even be ready for a bigger challenge now. So many rocks. And they feel different. That one's granite. That one... Slate. I think that one might be quartz. I wa wonder if the rock's composition affects my magic. Sorry. Just thinking out loud. Let's get back to it. Practicing, I mean. I'm on it. It's no trouble for you now. I know. This is great. <laughs> Heard ya. Good work. You got the hang of this stone thing. I'm definitely getting there. What was that? Someone's in trouble. Over here, Harding. We need to move quick. Please, someone. Is anyone out there? Someone's in trouble. We need to go. Uh, I, I can't move. Hold on. Over there. I bet that's where he is. How about if you move this rock? <laughs> there he is. Let's hurry. Easy. Maker, I thought I was dead for sure. Harding wouldn't let that happen. The rocks, 
How did you do that? I... Harding? Do you hear that? Hear what? Sister, I feel you. Touched by the ancients as I was. Find me. Look to those closest to the stone. And find me. Harding. What's wrong? What are you hearing? I'm... I'm sorry. Let's just get our friend to safety. And then we'll talk. Ugh. Can't get along. Jacobs. How is he? It is good to have found Darren. Good, you're here. Thank you for making the arrangements, Dea. For Katerina? How could I do otherwise? I'm so sorry, Lucanis. This must be such a blow. Rook, thank you for coming with him. I need Juan de la Muerte to plan this. His cousin has been no help at all. I'm sorry, Thea. This is just... too much right now. What do you need us to do? There's a lot to plan. But first, I need the ashes. Ashes? Make it help us. Yes, the ashes. Katerina's ashes. From the cremation? Oh, yes. Of course. I'll get them to you right away. Ilario. What happened? What do you mean? Katerina? How? How did the Venatori get to her? When? Where? In the estate? In the city? How did they get past our people? What did they use? Poison? Blades? I need to know. Cousin, stop. You can't dwell on this. It'll drive you mad. I'm not dwelling. Zara killed the first Talon. I have to know how if I'm going to stop her. I told you, I'm handling it. Boys, enough of this! We have other things to discuss. My apologies, Andradea. Continue without me. I'll get you the ashes. Something's going on with him. I don't know what. When he's not on the job, my cousin always has his head in the clouds. Hilario can be a handful, but this? The only time I've seen him like this was when Lucanis died. You're worrying, aren't you? 
What will people say if they hear the demon of Virantium has a big, soft heart? He's been careless at times, but never when his own life was on the line. Zara took down the first Talon. Anyone could be next. And my cousin doesn't want to think about it? You have a point. It's not like Ilario to ignore a knife coming at him. What do you need from me for the funeral? Come. I'll get us some drinks and we can make the arrangements. Our house owes you for handling all of this. Caterina was family. Can you imagine what she'd say if she saw us all like this? She'd be furious, especially at Ilario, as usual. How did you stay on our good side? <laughs> what good side? To hear Caterina tell it, Lucanis can do no wrong. It's easy to look good standing next to my cousin. I'll have my people keep an eye on him for you. Thank you, Taya. Go on. I'll let you know if something comes up. Fewer people than I expected. Let's find Asher. Asher? The Viper. He prefers to be called Asher in private. Said I could tell you. Trouble in the Anvalanim. Darkspawn. But those tunnels are safe passage for... I know. We've had to close that entrance. We can help. We've recently had to deal with Blight. Those Darkspawn have to be destroyed before they get out into the city. If you get through, signal the all clear at the hidden door. <sighs> this is troubling. Dark spawn in the city. And in one of the worst places. The shadows rely on those tunnels to rescue people. Odd. Anvalanim is the ancient elven word for wound. The Anvalanim should have an entrance this way. The passage is hidden by a wall. Venatori, why are they so close to the shop? Is that the wall carving you mentioned? That's the one. There's a switch behind the serpent's head on the left. Got it. Like the ossuary, but without the view. Don't like the sound of that. Can't get through here, but we've got to clear the obstacles somehow.
That did it. We can get through now. Uh, I hate tunnels. Let's kill those Shadow Dragon rats. Trouble I leave this place. Shadow Dragon agents, they down here with us. Get them. They'll run for reinforcements. Reinforcements? We can't let them reach the Shadow Dragon hideout. Even more Venatori? We have to take out the leaders. This cannot be. Well, look at that. The dark spawn will not stop until we get rid of their blight pools. We need to find the other boy. I'd hate to be on their side. Those Darkspawn and Venatori were on the same side. I know, and that worries me. At least that seems to be the last of them. It should be safe for the Shadows to use the entrance again. Let's find it and tell them to open up. There it is, the hidden entrance back into the shop. It's Rook. All clear down here. Nice work. I'll get the door. Good that you're still standing. Best let Asher know. How did the Venatori find the Shadow Dragon's hideout? Isn't it a secret? We helped the people in Docktown. They know where we are. Someone might have talked about the shop. People spreading rumors, that's easy to handle. But Darkspawn, that's different. You really saved our skins there, Rook. Those Darkspawn could have destroyed us. It wasn't just Darkspawn. Venatori were there too, and they weren't fighting each other. How is that possible? Darkspawn attack all living things. Darkspawn are blighted. If the gods control the blight... They might control the Darkspawn. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. The Venatori could have magic that protects them. Or worse, they could be allied somehow. If you're looking for answers about the Venatori, I may have a lead. A warehouse on the other side of the city. Lots of cult activity. And some of them were spotted headed towards a shop. Could be a coincidence, or it could be something more. It's worth a look. Agreed. Rook, let's go. One day you're moving. The Viper, or Asher. I suppose. Is he the leader of the Shadow Dragons? One of them. He made his name freeing slaves and supporting their rebellions. So the Viper's real name is Asher? A middle name. He calls himself Viper for first impressions, 
Or so he says. What do you mean? Asher just doesn't have the same impact, does it? Benatori, we're close. More Benatori. Guards, probably. Someone's mad about their fellow Venatori leaving the rooftop passage open. Let's in both drafts and people. Yes. before more of them come crawling out. <gasps> Lots of Venatori. We must be close. That's all the Venatori guarding the place. Someone conveniently left the rooftop entrance open again. I know a Venatori ritual when I hear one, and I know they hate being interrupted. Summoning Darkspawn. How? We stop them, then they're using magic to control that Darkspawn. We have to stop it. Ready if you are. Watch 
watch it. They're at range. Now it's your turn. God. Move quick. That's all of the Darkspawn inventory. Let's search the place and figure out what they were doing. This explains the Darkspawn we... Keep... This note... Knight Commander Lenos of the Minrathus Templars is being paid off by Venatori. Damn it. Look at this. Draining into the tunnels below the city, perhaps? One more way the Venatori released blight into our tunnels. I'll tell the other shadows. Gods gave the Venatori a relic they can use to control Darkspawn. Did you find anything in there? The Risen Gods taught the Venatori how to control Darkspawn. Explains why the hideout was attacked. We found documents from the Knight Commander. I knew he was crooked. I didn't think he was actually Venatori. Let's head back to the shop. We'll discuss things there. We managed to catch the stragglers fleeing the warehouse. They'll think twice before coming back here. What else did you find? The Venatori serve Elgrenon and Gilanane like we thought. They gave the cult control over Darkspawn. Great. Sounds like the Venatori are going to be even more trouble. We can handle anything the Venatori throw at us. How do we know we can even trust you? You're not from here. You don't know Minrathus like we do. And we know as little about you as we do these risen gods you unleashed. Now, now. What is it they say? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. The cult has its hooks deep in the city. Venatory backers sit in the Magisterium chambers, and now they wield power given to them by the gods. We'll have to get along if there's any chance of surviving this. May, what are you doing here? You promised you'd lay low. Tried it, didn't much care for it.
Nice to meet you. I'm Rook. There's trouble in Minrathis. Venatori and Risen Gods. Rook's helping us with it. Mavaris is one of the Shadow Dragon leaders. Mavaris Talani, formerly Magister Mavaris Talani, at your service. Wait, formerly? My enemies conspired to have my Magisterium seat stripped for me. We can talk about it later, if you want. My concerns feel petty when stacked against Risen Gods. The Shadow Dragons have a lot to discuss, but you, Rook, are expected at the Swan. Uh, me? The Cobbled Swan? Why? The First Warden is here to speak with you. The First Warden? Let's hope we actually get some help with the Blight. Come back when you can. I think we'll need your help again. That warehouse the Venatoria were in. Traders used it before. I remember Ferelden first story. All right, there you have it. Um, Venatori is controlling the blight thanks to the gods that we released by accident by stopping Solus. Uh, we found out Harding can control rocks and um, she's hearing voices, and now we're going to be seeking them out. I'm sure of it. And of course, we saw some tension between Lucanus and Little Rose, he, I'm butchering his name, his cousin. Uh, his cousin was acting a little sketchy. I get the feeling I'm calling right now, because again, I'm playing, this is all in blind playthrough. His cousin is the traitor within the Antiban probe. So he's the reason why their uh, Katarina, talent number one, was killed. So. But until next time, everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the playlist, check out the previous episodes if you haven't already. And if you need help or you want different games, feel free to ask down below in the comment sections. And if you like these type of playthroughs and want me to do more story-based, just comment down below. But until next time, everyone, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Until next time.